Okay guys, we are back with another Audacity tutorial. And now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply chains so that you don't have to go ahead and apply all those steps I did in my last Audacity tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description and leave an annotation as well. So guys, if you guys haven't seen that tutorial, please be sure to check it out. But I will be going ahead and going through those same steps to get the best audio quality for your commentaries or podcasts or, re or recordings uh, in today's video right now. So like uh the pro the title says we're going to be using audacity now the next the first thing we're going to do uh please be sure to check everything out in the last video to see the best settings uh to on how to set everything up because uh, i did go ahead in depth with pretty much everything but first thing we're going to go ahead and do we're going to go is to file and we're going to go and hit edit chains all right so this is where we're going to go ahead and select and create our own chain so now this I have my commentary uh, audio right here so that I can just do one two three steps and then what we're gonna do first we're gonna click add right here so enter name of a new change name it whatever you want so we're gonna uh, for the sake of the tutorial we're gonna name it tutorial and then click OK and now the first thing you want to do is going to you're gonna want to go ahead and click insert right over here and now just like the last tutorial to, uh, for the settings we're gonna basically be doing everything all over again but this time we're gonna be putting in these steps in this uh, uh, command area so we're gonna go ahead and click noise removal and edit parameters is where you can edit the settings so it's just the same exact settings as before nothing is changing click OK and then you want to go ahead and click OK you want to go ahead and click insert again Oh yeah, make sure to double click. Make sure to double click. Don't single click because that will not work. <laughs> um, you can edit parameters to whatever settings you want, but we're still leaving it at the same. Click OK. You want to go ahead and hit insert. And next, you're going to go. You want to go ahead and hit equalization. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Hit equalization. Make sure you want to go ahead and hit base boost. Okay. So this is where you want to edit the parameters. You want to hit base boost first. Okay. Click OK. Then OK. Then you want to hit insert again, equalization, edit parameters. You want to go ahead, ahead and hit treble boost. Click OK and click OK. Insert and you want to go ahead and hit normalize. Edit parameters. Make sure to leave everything the same as uh, <laughs> the last tutorial. Click OK. Click OK. And that is pretty much it for right now. Now I'm going to explain to you why we can't go any further. Um, so unfortunately those chains, you know what, let me open it again. So these chains, it doesn't have the hard limiter, uh, set over here, but what I want to ask if anybody who's really good at using audacity, I'm like maybe above an amateur, but a little bit, uh, better than that. But if you do know how to go ahead and, uh, and, and, um, apply hard limiter, that would be helpful a lot. Cause it's just that one tool that we don't have, but it won't affect, uh, our uh, tutorial right here so you click OK and now we're gonna go ahead and record something so let me do this for you guys I once shot an arrow into the air where it landed I know not where so that was pretty much a small thing over there uh, if you can name where I heard that quote from uh, I guess a free cookie um, so we're gonna go ahead and you want to select this little space now here's the thing with the noise removal you want to do this for everything okay so effect and you want to do noise removal get noise profile so now after you've done that you want to go ahead and select all and then you go instead of like going through all the steps one by one every single thing you'd uh, to make things like a thousand times easier want to go you want to go ahead and hit apply chain and you want to hit tutorial whatever you named your chain right here and you want to hit apply to current project see just did that now since the uh, change do, does not have hard limiter you want to go ahead and pretty much do the last two steps which does not take um, that long so hard limiter and then you want to select net you want to put this negative four audacity when you open it up open up a new project it's going to be zero unless you've gone ahead and already um, edited the file it always stay as negative four so click OK and then you want to go ahead effect and then hit normalize leave the same settings same exact settings Okay, and then you pretty much have your audio right there and then. So let's go ahead and listen to that. I once shot an arrow into the air. Where it landed, I know not where. 
So that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and even change the gain on that if you want. Uh, you can change the volume slider over here. And there are some settings. I believe it should be... I think, yeah, it's, it's somewhere here in the effect settings. You can go ahead and change the volume for that. And you can mess with the bass boost settings. It's up to you, but I'd recommend the settings I had over there. So that's pretty much it. And a little thing that I can go ahead and show you guys is uh, exporting multiple files. So uh, this is what I what I would do, but this is just a little uh, tips and trick thing at the end over here. So maybe if I recorded... I know not where. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so it's recording my voice right now. And I'm going to go ahead and record another one. I know not where. Uh, testing uh, this audio out. <laughs> Alright, so it's recording. So, I'm, I have these three audio files right here. Now, if you want to go ahead and export multiple audio files, this is very simple and very easy. So now, because we grabbed that noise removal, that uh, we got that noise profile over here, we don't have to do that, grab these noise, pro noise profiles. Again, it is up to you, but I didn't have any noise in my background change at all. But this is up to you, so you can just pretty much go to select this um, right here effect then you want to hit noise removal then get noise profile but i'm not going to do that so you want to go ahead and either select all these spaces over here by holding shift and then select them or you can go ahead and hit Control a and now we're going to go ahead and uh go to file and actually you know what let me delete this one and then edit these two right here Ooh. there we go and then edit these these two right here so you want to go ahead and hit Control a then file and you want to go ahead and, to, and uh, hit apply chain. So now you're going to apply all these chains right here. So it's pretty much easy if you want to go ahead and do a bulk recording. So apply to current project. And that's pretty much it. You want to go to effect hard limiter. Set this to negative four. I believe it was on negative four <laughs> earlier. Uh, effect and then normalize. So that's pretty much it. And then you want to go ahead and uh, you can select all of them. It will do it by itself. So, But just to be on the safe side, just hit Control A, File, and then you want to hit Export Multiple. Now, this is where you're going to go ahead and um, select what format you want your audio file to be. So just like the last tutorial, and for this tutorial, make sure to set it as a WAV, sign 16-bit PCM. And then you want to go ahead and uh, choose an export location. So I can hit Desktop right here. And then you want to go ahead and have you have the tracks set. Make sure tracks are set, not labels. Then you can overwrite the existing files if there are files that already existed before this. And then you want to hit using label track name, but this isn't going to do anything because we don't we didn't have original audio files to replace. So now you want to go ahead and hit using label track name, and then you can pretty much name the track titles right here. So I'm just going to leave them as they are. I believe. It should stay that way. Yeah, it should It should stay that way. I can uh, put test right there. Hit OK. And then test right there. This is the detail for the audio file. So I don't think it's necessarily going to show this as the file we did name. But it will be there. So now it's gone ahead and exported these two files. And that is pretty much it. And it should, yeah, look right here. So it's audio track and audio track too. So... Um, that is pretty much it for the tutorial guys. I hope you guys did enjoy that So I will be I will go ahead and leave a description for all the tests over there just in case you want to copy the instructions um, In a notepad or something for future uh, Use or anything, but that makes everything ten times easier. So guys that is pretty much it I hope you, this tutorial video did help Please go ahead and share this video with other people who may have trouble with this. Please be sure to like and also subscribe if you are new to the channel and enjoy some gaming content because it will be really awesome. So guys, that is pretty much it. And I'll catch you hopefully maybe on another tutorial as well. So until next time, stealth out.